Yo, what is good, Celtics Nation? Welcome back to the Bleed Green Film Room. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down this man right here, Chris Stapps Porzingis, and his game versus the Houston Rockets. A couple of days ago, he dropped 32 points, had six three-pointers, but also had five blocks as well. And I want to show you guys some film from this game and break down to you guys why Porzingis is the literal X factor for this team for the foreseeable future. We get a nice block there by Sam Hauser. They get the offensive rebound, but watch the ground that Porzingis makes up. One, he covers the the layup here by Jalen Green. He's going to be forced to kick it out to Alperin Sangoon, but watch the ground that he makes up, jumping forward right and blocking the shot. Unbelievable job there by Porzingis, and you see this so much now. I was really worried, you know, when we got rid of you know a guy like Rob Williams. I was pretty nervous about what was going to happen to our interior defense. Defense. However, Porzingis has made it insanely good at the same time as being able to shoot the three ball on this play. Dylan Brooks driving into the paint, throwing up a scoop layup. Again, rejected. Blocked. Two blocks in the first uh, six minutes of this game. I mean, Porzingis was just an immediate threat all game. And you know what? He's that guy. He is the X Factor for the team. On this play specifically, we get a rebound here to Jason Tatum, right? He's going to kick it out. He's going to see Porzingis wide open, and this is what makes our team so versatile. You have Jason Tatum, you have Sam Hauser, you have JB, you have Derek White. Tell me in the, in the comments, how many of these guys can shoot threes? Yeah, all of them. So what that does is space out the floor, leaving the paint wide open at a bunch of times, right? But on the, in this case, you they don't close out in time, leaving Porzingis for a wide open three right gets it to go bang easy money if you guys watch the live streams by the way we do live stream every single sales game if you want to watch those with me make sure you guys subscribe to the channel but man a great shot here we go two-man game this is what i love to see jalen brown chris Saps, porzingis these guys friendship right now is amazing off the charts and this is what we're going to see again jb getting a screen driving right drawing two defenders in and is able to kick it out last second get dylan brooks up in the air making sure he cannot close out and here we go chris Saps, same spot same opportunity same three up and good guys this is what makes us so special man the pick and roll the pick and pop the two-man game Chris Saps, uh, you know, his ability to not only shoot over defenders from the three-point line, but to shoot over defenders from inside the arc in the post. I mean, this dude is legit. I'm loving the addition. And you know what? I still sit here and I'm like, damn, we really added Chris Saps Porzingis. And he's really been lighting it up, man. And here we go again. Get him in the post. What did I just say? He can shoot over anybody. In this case, Jalen Green. Is this even a matchup? So here we go. He's going to post up Jalen Green. Back his way into the paint just enough to get to where he wants to be. Turns around. Throws up a floater. No good, but has the ability to tip it back in multiple times because you have a smaller defender on him. I mean, amazing. The effort, the hustle. I mean, dude, this guy changes the game for the Celtics. Now, before we get any further into this video, before we break down some more film on this guy, KP, do me a big favor, hit that like button. If this video gets up to 100 likes, I'll be dropping a full breakdown, a full film review tomorrow of Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum's game last night versus the Dallas Mavericks. If you want to see that, hit that like button, but also subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's free. It doesn't cost anything, and we're going to be here all year long dropping videos, a podcast, and everything you want to know about the Boston Celtics. But also guys listen we live stream every single game i know i already said that but if you want to watch these games with me just join the family turn on post notifications so you're notified every time we go live for a game and every time we post a video again another offense rebound here by boston good job in this game getting these second chance opportunities and we've seen kp shoot from this time multiple or this spot in the, on the floor multiple times already and gets another one to fall man kp KP's just that guy. And here we go again. A post up versus a small defender. We were doing this all game. Get KP the ball versus a smaller defender. This time, Jay Shante, a much better defender than Jalen Green. But it don't matter. He can shoot over you anyway. Off the glass gets it to go. Man, I love watching this dude's film. I really do. Here we go. Derek White over to KP. And again, how many times have we seen a little two-man game? You get the guy, uh, you know, Drawing down on Derek White, leaving KP to shoot over two guys closing out. I mean, dude, it is special. What this dude does is special, man. I, I absolutely love it. Again, wait, let me see that one more time. Was it a screen? Was it a screen? Yep, screen, right? 
this two-man game. Oh my god. We have never been this versatile since I've been watching the Celtics. I've never been this versatile. Set a screen, draw two defenders on one guy here. You know, Derek White does a good job, you know, not passing it right away, but drawing these guys in even more, leaving KP for an open three. And then on the backside, we have an open O'Shaber set. We have a cutting Sam Hauser. If I'm Sam Hauser here, just stay at the three-point line, man. You have two guys versus three. Um, you could easily force these guys, um, you know, outside the perimeter and get an open, another open three somewhere else if you wanted it. But either way, KP gets it to go, man. I mean, this dude is just special. Just special. And again, here we go. Derek White, we've got an off -ball, two off-ball screens here for Jason Tatum coming off a screen. But it's actually going to be fake. Tatum's now going to give a screen to Porzingis. He's going to leak into the back. Tatum gets in the way of Alper and Sengun. And you know, what, you know what Porzingis does? He puts up threes over anybody. Gets it to go. I mean, this is actually a really smart play. Shout out to Joe Missoula. I haven't seen this play run too much here by other teams. So again, we get a fake double screen here for Tatum. Tatum last second going to come up and screen Jalen Green. They're like, wait, what is going on right now, right? What is going on? Tatum gets in the way of Alper and Sangoon. And again, the man can shoot over anybody. Unbelievable, man. And let's see what happens here. Off ball screen here for Jason Tatum. Porzingis is probably going to pop out. Does. And then we're going to get another screen here for Peyton Pritchard. Drives in, kicks out to Porzingis. And now we got one-on-one, -on -one, him versus Alper and Sangoon. We got JB coming off the backside, handoff, right? Stops right in front of his defender, boxes out both the guys, and gives Jalen a wide-open three. I mean, not only is you know Porzingis an X-factor in terms of scoring the basketball, but also getting guys open off that pick and roll as well, man. And again, JB, quick pass. What are you doing? He's trying to stop the JB penetration here. I mean, watch how important this is as well, right? Pump fakes a three, gets Dylan Brooks in the air, kicks out. Alper and Sangoon's like, okay, Dylan Brooks in the air. Now I got to go back and cover JB. But then you realize, wait, nope, I'm on Porzingis. Can't do that. Porzingis again shoots right over him, man. Oh, my God. I mean, just watching this film makes me happy. All right. This is probably going to be a defensive play. So Alper and Sangoon hands off to Jalen Green. Comes off a screen, right? Wide open. We're playing drop zone coverage. So if I'm Jalen Green here, I'm probably going to stop a lot earlier than that. Shoot it a little bit farther, probably where JB is now. But because the reason is, Porzingis, he played... I mean, again, look at how he's playing in the paint. If you're Jalen Green, you shoot this right now, right now. You don't get up any closer to KP because what he's going to do is block this ball. Maybe a little hand contact there. Don't know if he got the ball first. They do end up getting the putback to go, but still, a great block there by JB. And here we go. We're going to get Nate Williams, I believe his name is, driving into the paint, trying to throw it over. Chris Stapps, nope, another block. I mean, dude. I don't even have to go through this whole game. I just I just can understand from right now that <laughs> this dude is just insane. All right, KP posting up here on number seven. Is that Cam Whitmore maybe? Yeah, probably the rookie. Just bully, bully ball, right? Bully ball. I mean, you're not stopping KP. Draws contact, throws up a one-handed floater. Oh, my God. How is that not a foul, by the way? Another post up. Love to see it. The, I think he was the best post big in the NBA last year in terms of scoring from the post. Again, gets his man in the air slightly. Bully ball against another rookie. Fade away mid-range. Same spot, same look, same same answer. Easy money. Guys, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Join the family. Comment down below a letter grade here for Porzingis in this game. Got to be an A+, plus, right? He was insane. But subscribe, join the family, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Actually, wait. Comment down below the number the number zero, right? If you think the Celtics have what it takes to win the finals this year. If not... What do you think they need to fix? Comment down below and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.